with more and more people using the platforms and it, the growth happening at an ever increasing rate, of course, that usage then splits out across a whole bunch of different platforms. Just to call out a couple of things here. So these are the fastest growing platforms that have seen the biggest growth within the last two years. Conspicuous by its absence here is YouTube, which I would still class as a social media platform that has 2.2 billion monthly active users, but isn't included in this chart. However, what we want to kind of draw your attention to is the things that are growing, the things, the platforms that are growing uh, above 30%. They're the three in the middle of your screen. TikTok, we've, we heard about that yesterday, and we're going to be speaking more about it over the course of today, I'm sure. TikTok, we know that's, that's a huge grow, and we're going to talk more about it later. Pinterest saw massive growth over the last 18 months or so, so 32%. And one platform that doesn't really get many column inches, doesn't get many people thinking about is Reddit. And for me, Reddit's a really interesting and underutilized resource. And if you looked at the growth trajectory of all of these platforms, Reddit is the only one that has not had like a peaky uh, growth trajectory. It's been consistent. They have not had one month where usage has even leveled out. It has been consistent, not as fast as the rest, hence the reason the press don't write, write about it too much, but it's been very consistent. And for me, Reddit is a fantastic place to nurture communities and also learn. You know, it's a, it's a brilliant listening post to understand the temperature of what's happening within industries, markets, verticals, whatever our area of interest is. So definitely that, that's one I, I would certainly call out. But of course, they're the fastest growing platforms. But going back to this data, which was run by Global Web Index, which is a the largest survey across digital that I've ever seen. So about half a million people are interviewed for this. It's insane. So when you ask these people, though, because even though we've seen the platforms are growing, what are people's favorite platforms? Facebook and Instagram, the two classics still win out. Um, but there is some slight differences in terms of the age and gender. So the people that class themselves as they, you know, they're across multiple platforms, but typically they would go to Facebook or Insta first. You typically find females orientate more towards of a younger demographic, orientate more towards Instagram, as we can see here, and then more male demographics and slightly older demographics, more shifting towards Facebook. 